Today we'll discuss uh, system information system acquisition, development, and implementation. This is the domain three. Broadly, we have to discuss what is the benefit realization when we talk to when we talk about projects. So project management structures. What is a project management? How can we make it effective? What are the best practices we can choose? What is business application development? What are the methods? How we develop the application systems? What is a development method? How we develop infrastructure? How we acquire? It's, it's better to buy or it's better to have it effective. Then uh, what are the best practices people use in different projects? Information system maintenance practices. We will learn how these are and how effective they we should know. System development tools and productivity aids. We'll see that what are the process improvement tools, what are the techniques we can use to make our project management more effective. Then what are the application controls? How can we do auditing application controls? And in terms of auditing application system, should we develop, should we acquire, and how to maintain these? This is the scope of our discussion for today. Let's start our discussion with best realization, benefit of realization is compromising amongst major factors such as cost, quality, delivery time, reliability, and dependability. When it comes to a system, in every management, there are different school of thoughts available. Some management believe that if they will buy a ready-made system, it will deliver, it is developed on best practices. So it can, it will be more reliable, it will be more efficient, and you can, the time to execute will be less. But on the other hand, because it will be uh, a standard software, so it will not be, it may not be as effective as you develop your own softwares or your systems. So always when it's about benefit realization, there are different school of thoughts and they have their own advantage and disadvantages. But when it comes to acquire, acquisition, development, systems, cost, quality, delivery time, and reliability, these are the major factors we have to consider. Objective of program management is to have an effective program planning, designing, execution, and post-effect execution in an effective way. So we take consideration, consideration the scope of the work by defining our objective, doing an effective planning, and we'll see what are the program financials. We'll see how to schedule the programs, what are the stages, what we will do today, tomorrow. We will make a schedule. Program objectives and what will be our deliverables. So it will create a timeline for the project management and we will have an effective program development and execution. In terms of context and environment, we have to see how effective this is. We'll define a communication system for communicating between stakeholders and we will develop a culture that will lead to the best effective program management. We'll see what is the culture of organization, what is the organization of program. These are the important factors to consider when we are uh, rationalizing uh, or realizing the benefits Objective of project portfolio management is to have optimization of resources by prioritizing and scheduling the projects because every state, every company, every corporation have different projects. So they have to have an effective project management which portfolio has to be taken first, what will be prioritized. First, second, third, this is there should be a system for it. How we are going to have a resource coordination and how the knowledge will transfer between the projects this is an important consideration to be an effective project portfolio. In terms of business K 
case development and approval will develop a case that will provide all the information which will help to decide that this project should be taken or not. Then we will see, depend, it will all depend upon the size of the organization and the investment, what is the development of a business case. The first step is of course, is a pre, it's a first step for starting any business. This, is, this has to be started the first. In terms of techniques, a planned approach to benefit realization is required. So what we are going to do is, we, the concept that is that, that we will describe the benefit management or benefit realization. We'll see what is the measurement and what is the target, how we're going to, what is our target and how we are going to measure against it. We'll establish a tracking system for measuring our goals. We will validate the benefit predicted in the business and we will see that the planning of the benefit that is realized is proper, effective and strong. In terms of project management structure, all projects has a time framework. According to PMI, Project Management Institute, every project is having a definite starting date and a definite ending date. It has defined stages of completion. So once we will do in this way, we will achieve a pro effective project management. Same way, project is always a time-bounded effort. A project can be complex and it involves a lot of risk. So we have to embed the risk management while doing our project management. A project should have specific objectives, it should have deliverables, it should have a starting date and it should have a ending day. Now, when we talk about project contacts and environment, it can be divided into two ways. One is the time framework and is the social contact that this project is commercially viable, acceptable. How we see is what is the importance of project in the organization, how management is looking about this project as a high priority, medium or it's a normal day to day project. Connection between the organization strategy and the project is harmonized, is aligned, there is a strategic alignment. Relationship between the project and other projects, this is we have to see this project dependency or independentness from the other projects. A connection between the projects to underlying business case is also important to consider for a project management structuring. Every project should have objectives. So project need clearly defined results that are specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and timely. That is, we use a small, small economics for this that is smart, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and timely. There's the same objective. Uh, these are the uh, characteristic of us goal, like goal must be smart. Comprehensive project view ensure that consideration and consolidation of the project is done on all the levels. And we see that the project's objectives are broken into main objective, additional objectives, and they are into non-objectives. This we have to consider in journal. When it comes to project management, involvement of st all stakeholders is really very important. So what we do is there are different roles and responsibilities we have to define in terms that may be involved in the development process that is senior management, user management, what senior management is thinking, what the users are expected to do. We'll make a project steering committee, we'll monitor the growth of the project, who are the project sponsors, what are their requirements, expectations from this project. System development management who is technically is looking to the aspects of the system. Then we'll see the project managers, what is their capability, what, what planning, coordination, abilities they have. We'll see the system development project team. We'll see what is the user, user project team. We'll see the security issues officers and what, how we make sure by having the quality assurance people while we are implementing the project management.